How do you create a consistent, well-designed website with reusable patterns? Well, one way of doing that is to use a design system with design tokens, and that's what we're gonna deep dive into. Design tokens are extremely helpful to create consistent patterns in your websites, and they're also pretty helpful if you use it in a broader sense with a design system. So things like Amplify UI, Material UI, Chakra, all have some sort of design system and these design token patterns. So if you use these patterns in your application, you'll find that you can create them more quickly. You can reuse these patterns with many different websites. So let's take a look. On the left-hand side here, I have my website. It has these number of web components. Assume like this is a class. These are all different classes at a summer conference. It has this very normal bland looking cards here. Now I'm using a Next.js app and I'm using the Amplify UI React library as an example, but these type of patterns would work on many other different material design and other component frameworks. So right here, here's my main app TSX. I just have a, an array of, of JSON objects and then I'm passing it into the season card. And in the season card, I am grabbing the card, which is a type of primitive inside our UI component library, this UI React library, and I'm setting a max width to it, and I have these templates, uh, I have this grid layout. Basically, I'm passing all the information for the title and description here. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna see if I can add in a theming system inside here to make my cards look a little different and stand out, maybe round the corners, get some outlines. So let's see how we can do that. What we're gonna do is in our main TSX file, we're going to create a theme file, and then our theme file will be sent into uh, using our theme provider into our application. So first we have this theme provider here. I'm just going to surround my whole app by it. And then I need to create uh, the theme itself. So inside my app here, I'm gonna create in my source folder, a new file called theme.typeTS. And then I'm import in a theme. And then uh, I'm gonna export const, and I'm gonna call it summer theme. There's a few things we need to add. So we'll add name and we'll call it summer theme. And then we'll add in some tokens and tokens are gonna represent the typography, the spacing, the colors inside our application. I think the first thing we need to do is add some colors and I wanna add in a gray color. We can set the scale of, or the hue of the colors that we want and we can define them in here. So I'm gonna say kind of a darker gray here and then I'm gonna use this HL at HSL scale. So I'll do 36, 18%, 89%. And now let's see if we can add this, our theme provider. I'll import in from, and then if we have it in here, it should be theme.ts. We'll have the summer theme here. And then we'll have this theme provider. We can add in a prop called theme. And then we'll just pass in this summer theme that we just created. Now, if we save it, we haven't made any changes here. It looks exactly the same. But now we've, if we look at the theme object, now we have this new color called uh, gray. And we can check this out and just try it out. So in our, let's say our season card here, we'll do color and we can just see if this works. And we can just pass in the name of the token, gray 100, and we'll save it. And you can see now this, text here looks a lot grayer. So we have added in this gray text. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. So nice. But what we really want to do is maybe want to have the background this gray color instead. So I'm going to remove this color here. By the way, I mentioned this in a previous video, but Uno CSS has this way to create attributes. And these attributes would be like the name of different classes. And the Amplify UI components library has something very similar a max width that we can add in or template columns or gap or line items. So that is something you can do here on this component library. So I'm gonna go take a look at, uh, I'm gonna delete the color and we go back to the theme. And we saw that we can add in colors, but we can also make changes to our components. So I wanna make a change to some of our components. So we have these components here and we have all these different types of components and these are inside the UI theme component library. And what I'm gonna do is I'll add components for the card and I can do background color and then I'll have a value. And this value 
can equal the design token we just created. So this would be colors.gray.100. And if we save it in here, now we have this gray background. So, you know, it's a, it's a, a little bit more clear now that what it's, what it's doing. Let's see if we can add in some spacing to it. So this card here has a background color, but we can add in padding. And there's some built-in design tokens too that we don't have to define. So in this case, this padding here will have a value and we'll put in space.xl. And if we do it like this, and we actually don't need these brackets here, I'll save it. So now we have a little bit more padding and spacing than we had before, which is nice that we don't need that in there. Uh, let's see if we can change the uh, border radius too. So right now you can see here it's more of a kind of a hard line radius, but we can change that too. So I'm going to add in, uh, it's under outlined. And then an outline, by the way, this is all TypeScript aware. So if I wasn't familiar with this, I can kind of play around with it and find out what I want, but I can do border radius and then border radius, I can do a value. And once again, there's a whole bunch of built-in uh, design tokens, and this is all in the documentation. And I can do ra radius uh, XL if I save it. So now I have these nice smooth borders right here. Uh, instead of having the uh, the more harder edge on it. And let's say I want to add a border color. So one thing I can do here is these colors I have gray. And remember, if I come back to the season card, I have these variations. So I can change what text looks like. Let's say we want this variation secondary for the time to look different, or we want to have the uh, some of these different texts look a little, little different for us. So let's, let's change that. I'm gonna come back to this main, let's go back to the theme and I'm going to add some colors. Okay, so I added some more colors for yellow, green, and red. And let's take a look at what happens when we chart, start changing this font one. So we can change the font color. So I'm gonna add this primary and I'm gonna add value here and I'm gonna use some of the existing tokens that we already created. So I'm gonna do colors, yellow, 100 and you can see now this changed this color here. So this is because inside our season card We have our main text that we've added in here. Here's our grid layout. We have this time We have this title right here. So this heading right here is using this font primary So we've able to, to add that in but let's add in secondary too So we'll do secondary and then we'll add in colors for this too. So we'll do colors dot yellow dot 10 and then we can also add in our tertiary and then we'll do value here of colors dot red dot 100 you see now our tertiary colors are red right here where our primary colors are yellow which is nice and then let's add in something for border so we're gonna have a border color and we're gonna add it for tertiary and those by the way tertiary primary those are variants that you can have those are what those are called. So we're gonna have colors green 100. Now that didn't make any ch change here, but we want to see if we can make this border green. So now we have all our tokens in place. And now inside here, we have our card, our outline, our padding. Let's add in a border color. So we look here, we have border color, and then we can add a value, and then we can access one of our tokens. So we'll do colors.border, border.tertiary. And now you can see, now we have this nice green uh, color around our component. So the idea here is that we have been able to add in all this whole theming and theme in here, change kind of the default, what these default components will look like in the future. We were able to define all our colors exactly where we want them. We can reuse it. We could definitely reuse this theme in multiple different websites and it's pretty nice and compact to have it in one place as well. So I feel like this idea of creating design tokens and having it with the theme and having it throughout your website really enforces consistency. Now it's good to know too that as this, it's good to mention that as we put the theme in, the theme is actually taking these design tokens that we put in and they're converting them into CSS variables. 
So at any point you can override those two if you need to, but it's usually best bet is to define everything in your theme here. And then if you need to go into each individual component and then make each individual component, make any changes you need to and updates. If you guys are interested in design tokens and you amplify UI, check out the two videos here. Uh, those will be really helpful for you to continue on and learn more.